All right, so today we're working on turn signals and marker lights. So the bus has turn signals and marker lights. Um, unfortunately, we when we changed all the lights to LEDs, um, the turn signal stopped functioning, and that's because they need the resistance of the actual filament of the bulb to work properly. So um, we want to change them all to LED. So what we did is we changed them all to LED. Minus two in the front we kept as incandescent, and that seemed to be enough to get them to work. So we did try to buy a blinker that was specifically designed for LEDs that didn't have the resistor thing, and that just never worked. So I don't know if it's wired different. I didn't chase it all the way down, but we stuck the old ones back in, put the incandescent bulbs in, and we were done with that project. So what we've done now is we've purchased um, these resistors. So these are 50 watt resistors, um, and we're gonna install them um, just where we did the two wiring blocks, we're going to install these uh, across the ground and the turn signal lead. So that should give us enough resistance to have the LEDs work. We should actually be able to power the blinker without any lights really on it. So anyway, um, we're going to try to install these real quick, um, see if they do the job. And if they do, then we'll go ahead and we'll start working on the actual marker lights and LEDs. All right, so we've screwed in the resistor is right here. So we've screwed it into the terminals and we've kind of just VHB'd it up here. This does get a little warm when it's activated, so I don't know if the VHB is going to hold, but it seemed like a better idea than like zip tying this hot heat sink to a wire or something. Anyway, um, this is on this side. We're going to do the other side and we have tested it and it does blink even with no lights on it. So when we activate the, the turn signal, I don't know if you can hear it, but it is working the way it's supposed to. So I'm confident that this'll, this'll get us what we need. And so we'll do the other side. And so our plan for marker lights is we have one marker. This is actually only a turn signal currently. So. The turn signal is just one way up here, so what we're going to do is we're going to do four all the way down the bus. So about every about every seven feet or so, we're going to put one of these lights, and it will be a marker and LED light. So it'll shine. Turn signal. Oh, I'm sorry, marker and turn signal. So it'll shine kind of dim when it's a marker, and then it'll be bright. So when we go to turn lanes, if it's at night, the whole side of the bus should kind of tell everybody, hey, we're, we're trying to turn that way. So um, hopefully that'll increase the visibility of the bus. Um, and we have everything on the insides open, so we have access to, to put these guys in. So that's what we'll be working on today. All right, so these are the lights we got to replace the, um, the, the marker and turn signal lights on this side. Um, these are DOT and SAE certified. Um, the problem is there's a huge hole there, so we're going to have to find a way to cover that up. But um, we chose amber because um, it kind of blends in with the orange. So we'll have, we'll have them on the orange here, and there'll be three more going down the bus. So hopefully that'll improve the visibility, and it'll be pretty bright when they're blinking. So this is what we're going to go with. So we are putting these in with rib nuts. That way if we ever have to replace them, then they're just they're kind of nice to pull in and out. Before they were kind of held with um, almost like a sheet metal screw and they would get kind of loose. So I think these will hold them a little better. So we just, we've drilled a hole and now we've got the rib nut on there. And so we press it all the way in and then we squeeze. in. Alright. Now 
Now we'll try to fit a grommet. Whoops. Might need that small screwdriver. And that'll provide a nice place for the wires to come out, provide a little bit of weatherproofing, and but mostly it'll provide they won't chafe against the metal and then have a short. So, um, so we've put these rubber grommets in a hope that that won't happen. So this is what it looks like on the outside, so the light will mount directly onto that and the little wires will come out here. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're on the inside and we are splicing together the wires. So right on the outside of this is where our little grommet is. And so this is where our two rib nuts are. And so we are gonna splice these together um, using these uh, crimp connectors. So we had read somewhere that these are kind of the, the best thing to use. And we tried it on some scrap wire and crimped some wires in there and we could not pull them out. So um, they seem to work pretty well. So we get some wire and then we'll probably fill this with dielectric grease when we're done. We'll go back and, and fill all the little holes with dielectric grease just to, if moisture gets in there to try to keep it out. So with these we just take this crimper and we just crimp the end so that they're all just together like that and that makes a really good connection so then we'll shove these through the little hole and then on the outside we will um, solder them so um, and We'd like to do some kind of connector, but the problem with that is there's just so little room behind those flashers that we're just going to solder it. They should last supposedly for 50,000 hours. <laughs> They're not going to be on all the time, so 50,000 hours is a long, long time. So um, anyway, we're just in here and we're splicing these together, and then we'll go outside and we'll solder them, and that will complete... Uh, one complete light so there'll be four on each side so um, we'll just keep doing it till we're done all right there we go all right so now we'll just shove these through the other side All right, there we go. So we'll go on the other side and we'll solder them up and then we'll clean it up down here, put a little bit of dielectric grease in the bottom there and we'll test them out and see if they work.
we go. So that's how it is. So, all right, so I think we're done with this side. So we've got four of these lights in now. Um, so go ahead and turn the markers on. So there's the blinkers. So this, so when it's dark, it'll just show this whole side of the bus blinking. Okay, so turn those off. Turn the marker lights on. And then here's the marker lights. So the micro lights are a little bit dimmer and they just kind of do like a small glow. And then go ahead and turn the, the other ones on, turn the blinkers. There. So now here's the markers and the blinkers on. So that's it. So tomorrow we'll do the other side. We only have time to do one side, but we figured a lot of things out. And um, we think they look pretty good. They should make the bus considerably more visible.